Spectacular Reefers, I'm Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquaria. Today's weekly video is on the Florida Recordia, uh, which I got in conjunction with the bird nest. This bird nest, I've never seen it before in my life, and I've been in this hobby many, many years. But where did I get both of these, like the others? Worldwide corals. Beauties galore. So I'm going to go ahead, this is the intro, I'm going to go into the, uh, as close as I can get, to the Florida Recordia, and as you know, if you follow me, I go ahead and I do a little research on them, and then I pass that along to everybody out there in the Reef Aquarium hobby. So I hope you enjoy the video, and let's dive into it. Hold on one okay, second. Okay, and here we are in front of the tank, focused at the Florida Recordia. And this is what I found out. Uh, Florida Recordia is a species of coral of the family record deity due to their bright pigmentation recordia florida sometimes you know they call it florida recordia or recorder florida is very popular in the hobby of saltwater aquariums now recorder for uh, florida is one of the most desired and colorful mushroom type species found on coral reefs they come in many color variations including pinks blues oranges like this one reds purples and even yellows. Now in the wild, Recorda uh, Florida is frequently found growing in colonies that blanket rock rubble in shallow turbid waters. They may also be found in deeper waters and as solitary animals, growing in both horizontal perpendicular to the seafloor and vertical orientations. Now Recorda Florida attaches itself by way of a petal disc to just about any hard substrate. Now the color of an individual specimen may be related to its natural habitat and specifically to the depth at which it was collected. Individuals living in shallower water with full exposure, horizontal uh, orientation, are frequently paler in color with shades of yellow and brown being common. Now orange which is like this one, and sometimes even pink specimens may also be found in shallow water. In the wild, Recorda Florida is known to change colors seasonally or in responses to specific events just as hurricanes. Now one of the reasons that Recordia are appropriate for the beginning Aquarius is that they are fairly tolerant of a wide range of lighting and flow conditions. These animals are found in varied conditions in their natural habitat. And so long as they are properly acclimated to the hobbyist aquarium, they will do well in a much wider range of aquarium conditions than many ane anemones and corals. Now, another thing that I found out is that Recorda flora tolerate bright reef lighting, but they also do fine and less well lit situations just as shaded areas of the aquarium. That's why uh, when you see videos and pictures of other aquarius, when you look at the recordias, they always are usually and should be kept at the substrate, uh, at the lowest level of uh, your uh, aquarium. Of course, depending also on the type of lights and the intensity that uh, you have the uh, lights on. Now you should carefully observe a newly placed Recoria specimen. If the specimen grows paler or shrinks, that's telling you that the light may be too intense. Uh, if, uh, originally, if it was originally a brightly colored specimen, retains its size but loses some of its intensity, the light could probably be stronger. So what they're saying here is that if, if you notice that the uh, recordia gets like pale, uh, probably the lights are too, too strong. At the same time, you have to gauge it because if by any chance uh, it starts to retain its size, you know, it kind of like shrinks and um, it becomes like a little paler, uh, that's also that the lighting could probably be stronger, so that's what you have to play around with it. But to be honest with you, these uh, animals, I haven't heard 
of anyone that has had to raise him or, or lower them. I mean, uh, not unless if if you have him on the middle part of your tank, which is highly not recommended to keep a uh, recordia. Okay, now while it should be given room to grow and should certainly not be placed in just a way that it will come into direct contact with other stinging cell organisms. Uh, Recordia florida does best with low to moderate indirect and intermediate flow. Now when it comes to feeding, uh, they usually feed on um, phytoplankton and zooplankton. In this case, uh, like I've said on my previous videos, if you follow me, what I give the whole reef is reefroids by Polylab. That's more than enough. And then now, like I've mentioned on my previous videos, I started to apply uh, Replenish by Brightwell Aquatics and also uh, Amino Acids by Brightwell Aquatics. But to be honest with you, you really shouldn't go uh, out of your way uh, to feed these animals because they, uh, they thrive on the photosynthetic uh, habitat environment of any aquarium. And then a final thought, Record of uh, Florida is an ideal aquarium animal for any reef aquarius. They're hardy, they're beautiful, and they're uh, interesting. And uh, another name that uh, Florida recordias are given is also known as false corals or mushroom anemones. And you know, they, they add color and a variety and beauty to almost any saltwater aquarium. So that's basically, in a nutshell, what I wanted to bring to all of you guys out there. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it educational. If you did, hit the thumbs up. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell right next to the subscription button. That will alert you uh, every time I go ahead and I upload a video. And like I say at the end of all of my videos, happy reefing. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.